Hello and welcome to One Financial Markets Daily News on Wednesday 31st October 2012. Commodities trading was mixed yesterday, although volumes generally remained thin due to New York markets staying close for the second day in a row. This represented the longest closure since the 9-11 terrorist attacks and it's been the first time that weather has been responsible for consecutive days of lost trading for over 100 years. So I expect today to be frantic as traders make up for lost time on the final days of the month. Back to yesterday's commodities trading and the price of coffee futures fell away after it appeared that Sandy had left warehouses alone, preventing a shortage of the bean. On Monday, the price had risen by 2.6% on the fear of flooding caused by the storm. Cocoa, however, went in the opposite direction during Tuesday's trade, with industrial reforms in Cote d'Ivoire continuing to take a toll on the harvest in the first few weeks of the 2012-2013 season.